You old baby. Yeah. Talk about fidget friendly. It's the dogfish. The dogfish. And it's like, well, now hold on. Didn't you do a dogfish video not all that long ago? Maybe a year ago. I can't remember. But this one is, yeah, I mean, it's the same designer. Okay. It's Caleb Waldman. But um, this dogfish is a little bit different. First of all, it's not aluminum. Second of all, it's not 154 cm, it's nitro V. So the thing about this is I think there were some people that were not really crazy about the aluminum. And on the aluminum one, if you remember that, remember this little piece that comes out there? It looks almost invisible, but that lets you, you know, pop in the pocket clip so you left hand carry it, right? So there's that. And then these were more expensive, all right? But these are less expensive, and this one's micarta. So, and I don't know, yeah, they do. They do uh, G10 as well. So if you want, wanted one not in aluminum, but micarta or G10, now's your time, right? And, you know, you can finger flick these. And they're less expensive, too. Um, I can't remember... I, I think the other one was close to 100 and I think this one is 79 um, and I don't know if that's MSRP or MAP, but check it out because, you know, you'll see it on Blade HQ, White Mountain, etc. And White Mountain Knives, I have a discount code, LTK, 10% off, so, you know, if you catch it at 79 then you can get it for 72 all in. And front flipper, top flipper, flicker, roll it around with your thumb, however you want to do it. And if you like Nitro V, then you're in good shape too, right? And, oh yeah. Yeah, they, it's sharp out of the box. No doubt about that. Okay, we're good. We're good. Button lock. Interesting design. The dogfish. Definitely, you know, with 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 micarta, this is going to be a lot grippier, and with the G10, probably a lot grippier than the aluminum. And then some people just don't like aluminum that much, because you know it'll you know the coating will come off and that kind of thing, and you'll see the scratches easier. I don't think you're going to see scratches very easily on this or the G10. So I think this would be a lot more resistant to the look of use or wear. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, dog fish. And then you got a little bit of that harpoonish looking thing to it. Not really. I mean, a thumb ramp deal going. And then here, look at this area here. So you can get a finger up here too. So you can really get up on this thing for closer in work as well. And it's light. It feels light at least. Let's check that out. In grams, it's 78 grams. <laughs> it is light. And let's come across here. Come on, man. And I just ran past it. Come on. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, you're pissing me off. 2.77 ounces at 78 grams. Okay, get out of here. You know what? I've been using this thing for so many years. I'm amazed it still functions. What the hell? Um, and let's pull the tape. The tail of the tape. Uh, yeah, 3.1 inches at, what, 80 millimeters and 7 and 3 eighths. Um, yeah, seven and three eighths inches at 18 and a half, 18.3 centimeters. Okay. And what do we got? Have we got nested liners in here? Pray tell. Pray tell that we do. And have we got a standard button type thing? You know, look at this thing swing around. I can't see what's going on in there. Um, that's interesting. We might have to took this one apart. And I think, you know what? I think we already took the other one apart. So let's just put the link to the other one down here. 
and um, and have that as your as your uh, deconstruction because no point in doing both very fidget friendly um, I can get all my fingers on here and definitely if I crawl up here which is very comfortable to do and reverse grip is very comfortable as well nice and drop shutty though super easy and you don't have to get your fingers in the way because it's a button lock okay but you can just sit here like go around the horn right with front flip top flip flick i mean you can do that all day long oh was i going to do this 11.8 at 0.46 that's pretty slender so it's slender in the pocket, 0.11, so about 3 millimeter, 2.9. Okay, there you go. So slender in the pocket, lightweight, deep carry pocket clip, right or left hand. It's just a different setup for this, you know. The aluminum had a little plug that matched the, the milling, you know, so it made it invisible almost. This, no, it's a little bit more apparent. And deep carry... That's like ultra deep carry, isn't it? But I like their pocket clip design here. It does make it easy to go. And you know what? It's not as stiff as some, which is good for me. I, you know, then, then I like a little bit more flexibility in the pocket clip. Makes it easier to go in and out of the pocket. But baby, this baby just, whew, oh, it flicks all right. Yeah. So, dogfish, huh? I just thought I'd let you know that it came out in a new variety. And here's this one. And let's see what's in the package because, well, it's worth checking out usually. And what do we got? What do we got? We got hardware. Yeah, we got hardware in here. Okay. Other than that, no. And we got a microfiber cloth in there, you can see. Okay. And so we got all that set up and where the knife goes, etc. And uh-oh, uh-oh. Got other things in here. Got stickers. And I would think it would be almost impossible if there wasn't stickers in the Kaiser product. And here it is. All right. So anybody collect the stickers? I collect the patches that you can Velcro. So that's what I do. I got a big old couple of sheets up on the wall that I stick patches to so there's that there's that affordable lightweight easy carry super fidget friendly uh, great action on it and Kaiser does a great job of making knives uh, the fit and the finish is fine and the detent is 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 what I would want it to be but it may be a little bit light for some of you guys. But when you have a button lock, I mean, I could sit here and pull button locks. And you know what? They're all about the same. And that's not easy to kick this out. But if you try hard enough, real hard, yeah, you can kick it out that way. Now, this way is easier. Okay. But this way can be done okay you can snap it open but then again you're t looking at a top and a front flipper and a flicker so now i think the detents just fine on this take care got the links below you guys stay sharp